YouTube channel Tech Geeks 10. Our today's topic is SQL Server in Memory OLTP, which is popularly known as the Hackathon. So, before we start, let's get introduced to what is in memory OLTP or Hackathon. It was introduced in SQL Server 2014. It provides us with the ability to move specific tables and store procedures into the memory and it also compiles store procedures into native x86 code. Since the objects can be directly called from memory, it renders a faster performance with least possible data access latency. Using this approach, SQL Server uses a high performance row versioning mechanism to control the concurrency. Such optimistic concurrency method offers nearly about 5 to 20 times faster results versus the normal disk based tables as read directly from the memory. With this, let's get started with the demo of how to set up in memory OLTP and the performance improvement as opposed to the disk based tables. So you can see it's actually it's actually 2017. Now before we start we'll actually create a database. So I have just chosen one database name. If you want you can choose any other name. So first we'll create with the database whatever name you like you can do you do not have to follow this path you can use your own path the sizes are all for the demo so you can change as needed I'm not following any best practice in choosing the size of the file growth now once you create the database if you right click and if you come to the properties you can see that a database is created and it has the two regular database files which is the log data file which is the log file uh, and you can see here okay if you come to the file group you cannot see any memory optimized data group because it has not been created now the next step is i'm altering the database with the file group you can see and the name of the file group contains memory optimized data so after doing this if you again go back to the properties and if you come to file groups, you can see an in-memory demo FG file group is created, but there is no files associated. So that's the reason it's actually zero. However, it remains the same because I have not added any file. Next step is created file under the same file group. So I'm creating a file with this logical name. This is the physical name and under this file group, which has been created in the previous step okay so that has been created if you come back check the properties come to file group you can see it's actually incremented by one because one file is now associated at the same time if you come here you can see that one database file which has been created under the file group as file stream data and with this file group basically okay initial size is zero which i'm not saying it's obvious but just for demo it's okay and then i'm giving this name okay moving on we also want to enable this particular feature which is memory optimize elevate to snapshot on with this the database is fully created let me go back show you once again you can see that the database has been created properly okay now I am now creating a table so this is to showcase how to create the tables so you can see presently there is no tables no pros, no pro procedures nothing is that's actually an empty database so let's go ahead and create a database uh, one table so a database table is created you can right click you can you can actually refresh it and this is created so what's new about it here in this case I'm creating a column 
as you can see it's a regular column but here I'm defining a bucket size which you do not do for the regular database data uh, the tables and also I'm giving these two parameters which is memory optimized on and durability is both schema and data you can also select if you only want durability against the schema or only data but I'm choosing both okay so the database table has been created now we'll showcase what else you can do as part of the alter okay so for example you created the bucket size with 100k now you are asked to change the bucket size to 200k or any other number you can feel free to do that this feature is a newly addition to 2017 it was not there in the 2014 edition you can also change the column data type so let's say order category id it was actually integer data type and it is changed to a big in type of data type so let's go ahead and execute so it's created now if you expand it the left hand side you can see it's actually created with a big in uh, integer data type let's proceed so now I want to show you how you can create a foreign key constraint so previous versions you have to recreate the tables but now you don't have to do you can create it on the go which is a good plus so i'm creating another table with the name as employee you can choose any table or based on your requirement you create it this is nothing new so we just now learned how to create the um, the in memory table and the second part is the foreign key table basically so i'm executing that here the only only change being in this sentence I'm actually giving a foreign key references back to the employee table which has been created and on the column as ID so if you go ahead and uh, you know execute uh, the refresh the page you can see this table that is in memory demo is created if you come to keys you can see the foreign key is created okay so let's move on until here we have seen how to create a in-memory database table how to alter the tables and how to create relationships in the remaining section we'll showcase through creating a base table using a regular disk based table and another um, in-memory tables and we'll compare the performance so for doing that creating a table it's a normal table with this type creating it so if you come back if you refresh you can see that the table is created this is the table I'm creating another in-memory database table which we have already discussed okay so now I'm creating two procedures one procedure is actually using um, you know um, uh, this particular table which is the disk based table we have seen here and the another procedure okay let me execute and create it which is using the another table basically and in each case I'm passing a value of you know in this case 100 and this case it's a 200 okay after creating it if we execute these two procedures we would be able to see a varying performance so it's expected that the disk space table is going to take more time as compared to the in memory okay so we'll see the results in in, in a while so let's say it's running for 19 seconds so you can see it took about 20 seconds that this space uh, basically and it took about this much of seconds okay so it took 20 seconds to insert all the record it take about uh, zero seconds which is like instantaneously you get the data so let's verify that you can you can actually run that you can remove we inserted 100 characters in the you know uh, I think it's whatever the record we have given the conditions and um, here in the table new if you come back you can see the name value the item name as 200 let's say any any number whatever you like you can choose it so let's remove execute and you can see all the records have been inserted so this is a nice example to showcase you can try to implement this feature in uh, your production workload but before that <coughs> do all the relevant tests basically 
in addition to that, I would like to highlight some of the enhancements which has come along in 2017. And those are SP space used. SP underscore space used was not there earlier. It has been introduced now, which is a great benefit. SP underscore rename DB, which was not there earlier. Now it has been added. Case statement was not available earlier. It is now added for the natively compiled T-SQL modules. Earlier, there was a constraint for eight indexes, which are all removed now. <clears throat> and then we have more sizable indexes, which we can create on the memory optimized tables, okay, which is a great plus. We also have cross apply operator, which can be used on the natively compiled modules. We also have a full support for JSON functions, which was not at, uh, there earlier, and it is can be applied to the uh, natively compiled modules and also in the in check constraints. Now, alter table is also much, much faster, okay, because, um, uh, you know, it, it's relatively faster because of the in-memory, uh, the memory optimized tables, and uh, we have the the transaction lock redo of our memory optimized table is also done in parallel, okay. There may be other benefits, but I just found these benefits are really crucial for us. There are some of the useful references which I will mention in the description section right below the video. You can do, you can check out that and you can get more details um, relevant to the context. Thanks again for watching my today's video. If you like the presentation, please do like, subscribe and share with your friends and colleagues. Also do let me know in the comment section what are the other technical topics you would like to visit and we'll see if I can present another exciting topic with that session. Uh, finally, take care. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye, y'all.